You're gonna be like, soul food. Soul food. <laughs> hey, burgers and fries. <laughs> Hello, Demir. It's Nikki calling. How are you, first of all? A bit sleepy. I'm waiting for my coffee to kick in. <laughs> but how's life nowadays? How are you feeling about everything going on? It's been crazy because my life um, after Eurovision for like 10 days to two weeks was... I was going 100 miles an hour because we were going... We went to Sweden. We, we made a revamp. We came back. We were doing so many interviews and then... You know, the government told us, now you're all going to be in your houses. So from 100 miles an hour, it all went to, you know, just being at home. And I have to say that for 10 days, I was just sitting on my couch, going to my fridge, fridge eating and, you know, back and forth, back and forth. And then I realized, you know, I have to find a way to... Uh, to live my life in these new, you know, conditions. Oh, it's okay. I, I have a, you know, I walk my dog in the morning. Uh, I have some lunch. I work. It's not a problem anymore. And you mentioned walking your dog. How is your dog? I'm gonna call her. Gigi. Gigi, tu vidi. Stai tu, stai tu em zadat. Opa. Okay. Say hello. Hi. Hi. Those days after the first quarantine session, you were eating a lot. You're a foodie. What's the type of food you eat? What do you love? Oh my God. I mean, it's so trashy, but you know, mac and cheese, <laughs> hamburgers, pasta, oh. all the good stuff. I'm not, you know, if, if I'm on a reg regime, then I'm going to eat healthy, but it's not because I want to. I'm not the kind of person who, who can say, oh my God, I love this salad. No, just give me proper good soul food and I'm going to be okay. Oh, maybe my next single is going to be about hamburgers. Who knows? <laughs> You're going to be like, soul food. <laughs> soul food. Hey, perfect. Burgers and fries. <laughs> All right, so tell us a little bit about your song this year. Uh, my song, Divi Vieta, a lot of people, because it's in Croatian, they really didn't understand what's it about. It's about right, right. being with someone who cannot settle. about being in a long-term relationship and then somebody just saying to you I don't want to be with you anymore and just leaving you and you being left alone in your room just you know coping with that trying to find the answers by yourself Since we're not going to be able to see it, what did you have planned for us? We prepared something special. We started working on it. I had so many ideas that I'm not going to talk about right now because probably when this is all over, we're going to make a concert in Zagreb and we're going to make a reenactment of how it was supposed to look. But it was supposed to be completely different than Dora. Uh, okay. performance, uh, it was supposed to be about, you know, seasons changing, uh, with right. on the stage and, and the girls, uh, being dressed, you know, in those beautiful dresses like desert women. And, uh, it was, we, we had a lot of wind in mind. So, you know, typical, you know, over the top Eurovision story, but, uh, in tune with the song. So what went through you when you heard that the Eurovision Song Contest this year got canceled? What went through your mind? Actually, I have to say that I'm really glad that it did because Eurovision for me is a huge spectacle of people just coming, you know, together and celebrating music, love, um, be thinking only about that. Imagine like if Eurovision being in Rotterdam with COVID-19 pandemic happening, it wouldn't be that. I just, I want, I want the whole thing, you know? So for me, it was, okay, I'm sad because my dream is going to have to, you know, wait a bit longer, but I was happy because we need to think about saving, you know, people's lives first. Let's solve this huge problem that we have. And then Eurovision is going to be even better. I think Eurovision in 2021 is going to be the most Euro 
most amazing Eurovision ever. All right, so mentioning the Eurovision Song Contest 2021, will we be seeing you? Well, we don't know yet. I've been having such a great, you know, uh, experience with our national TV. So whatever they decide, um, I'm going to be okay with it. If it's me, then I have to get to work and, and find, you know, a new song. If they decide something else, we'll see. For me, the song is, you know, the most important thing. So if, even if it's not me, if they decide that it's going to be Dora, if I find a song that's amazing and, then I, and that I believe in, I'm going to reapply. Who are some of your favorites this year? I love it when somebody uh, sings, you know, I love songs that have that Pussycat Dolls kind of vibe, so Serbia. Mm -hmm. Especially because they have a, such a great message for young girls, you know, to stand up uh, for themselves. <laughs> and so your 12 points go to? Our neighbors, Serbia. <laughs> <laughs> it's about politics, you know, so it's... <laughs> thank you so much for giving us such an amazing time. I want to thank you for being so much fun to talk to you. And hopefully I get to see you next year. Of course, and uh, hopefully I'm going to get to uh, meet you in person. Uh, keep doing everything that you're doing. I love you so much and uh, see you in Rotterdam. Thank you, honey. Good luck. Bye. Good luck.